Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 18th of April, Tuesday of the week of Easter two. Martin Niemöller, 1892-1984. Uh, but this sermon was preached in 1934. Today, we face an entirely different situation. Church and nation can, and indeed dare no longer be regarded as one. Through the whole nation runs the dividing trench with the Christian community on one side and on the other, the world. And the side to which the individual belongs is no longer determined as it was up till now by his attitude toward his nation. It is determined only by the Lord Jesus Christ and by our attitude toward him. Even the fact that we are in the church does not exempt us from this decision. For the rift runs even through the church, the world and the Christian community are parting company, even in the church. No one really wanted it, but no one is able to prevent it. When it happens, as it did recently in our neighborhood, that members of the church attend divine service in order deliberately to leave the room very noisily during the reading of the scripture lesson and insult the preacher in the open street after the service, then the rift as it touches the church itself is merely becoming visible. And when we are surprised and alarmed at similar outbreaks of elemental hatred as at something which ought not to be and should not be allowed to be, then the apostle bids us regard them as absolutely normal and in no way surprising. Quote, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you, close quote. The prayer, Philip Melanchthon, 1497-1560. O living God of truth, eternal Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, as thy Son, our High Priest, prayed in his time of trial, Father, sanctify them in thy truth, thy word is truth. So also we pray and earnestly desire with him that thy word may forever enlighten, lead, and rule us. Amen.